Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the Rusty Toolbox. Today's episode, I've got the BMW 540i and we are going to do a homemade DIY smoke test rig with some fireworks since it's close to 4th of July. So uh, let's see if this works. So I had a check engine light come on on the BMW for a fuel trim issue. After some research, it seems like it's very likely a vacuum issue. There's some kind of vacuum leak in the uh, intake. So, so with all the different connectors and hoses coming off uh, through the whole intake system, all the different lines, it's just going to be much easier to just smoke test this thing find where the vacuum really is coming from so that I can fix it without trying to just throw parts at it try to band-aid the problem so how are we gonna do that from home well I didn't want to go to the shop and pay a bunch of money so I got some extra fireworks left over from 4th of July obviously if you don't have fireworks you can use like a rag with some mineral oil or even like cigarettes or cigars or something that's gonna smoke. I got some, uh, just some tubing, and then I got a empty paint bucket for the lid, and I got a cap to block off uh, the opening of the intake, and um, some Reese's that melted in four minutes while it was out here in the car because it's 100 degrees. Don't really need the Reese's, but, so what we're gonna do is, on top of here, we're gonna put an inlet and an outlet for air coming from the air compressor. That's gonna create positive pressure and that will then hook, the outlet will hook to um, one of the tubes, which will then go into our intake and force smoke into the intake. Let's do it. All right, so I just got a, a simple step down drill bit here. Got some holes in the top of the tank can. Two um, compressor, uh, unit, what are these called? Uh, nipples, I guess. And they're just, you know, the standard from Harbor Freight. So what we'll do is we'll screw those in there, then the tubing will go on one, and the compressor will just simply hook up to the other one to provide some positive pressure. Then we light some smoke bombs, put them in here, let this thing fill with smoke as we get positive pressure coming in, pushing the smoke into the intake. So we got clear access to the intake here. And I've got this plug, three inch plug, that uh, doesn't quite fit inside. I probably needed like a two and three quarter, but I'll just tape around that to seal it up. And then as you can see, I got another inlet there that one end of the tubing will go into. And then there's our bucket. We're gonna hook up to the compressor with some smoke inside. And then we're gonna put it in and see where smoke comes out. All right. All right, here goes nothing. We're all hooked up. We got the smoke bomb. Pop that in there. Light that up. Should really start smoking up. All right, so we've got smoke going. Look at that. Already got some smoke coming out, and there is the culprit. See in the rear there? That looks like a hose that either came out or was unplugged at some point and didn't get replugged in. There's also a small leak right here. I'm gonna seal that first. And then we'll go back to get that one. Cool. That's all the smoke we got out of that smoke bomb. Let's do one more. Just for giggles. Ready? Should start seeing some smoke. 
Yep. It's back there. And then right in here in the front. So we've got two spots. Perfect. This is great. So this is exactly what I needed to know. <clears throat> so there is a small cut, looks like. Yep. Small cut right there in this hose or in this whatever intake boot there. And then something is supposed to connect into there. You can still see the smoke coming out. And I don't know if something got disconnected or if there's supposed to be a plug in there that didn't get connected when it got detached. I'm gonna do some digging. Probably not in these clothes. But there you have it. A $15 DIY smoker rig to check for intake leaks. Okay, I think we should do one more. What do you think, purple? One more for funsies. All right, that's it, all done. Just plugged up those uh, leaks. It's kind of temporary solution for now, but um, the engine did take a second to, it seemed like it was kind of relearning the fuel trim and mm -hmm. all that stuff, which is probably a good sign. Probably means that there's the appropriate amount of air getting in now. Um, yeah, DIY, hey Finn. DIY uh, smoke test. Yeah, I think it was successful. Um, that was really easy, actually, and I'm glad I did it. I found where the intake leaks were, so that's great. Hey, uh, get some uh, swag. I'm all sweaty, but I uh, got some Drive More shirts at the RustyToolbox.store if you want to um, help support the channel. Uh, got some, some plans, got some ideas, but, uh, you know, it's always finding time and the money and the energy. So uh, I'm doing what I can. Hopefully there'll be more content in the next little bit. But thanks a bunch. As always, feel free to subscribe. It helps me out. And we'll see you next time.